Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do a pick a card and this is gonna be for moving. And I myself am moving. And it seems like a lot of my clients are in the same energy. Usually when we, we're in a certain energy, we often find that we gravitate or others that are going through the same situation gravitate towards us. So I have a lot of people around me that are going through moves, thinking about moves, making life changes and moving, that type of thing. So we're gonna see um, what is coming with the move. You can, of course, use this pick a card for a, a, another subject, but you may need to read between the lines because I'm gonna be focusing my, my messages on moving. Uh, the items that I picked for this are my crystal ball, and this is the crystal ball that this this is my personal scrying crystal ball, and I picked the rose palm stone, rose quartz. I'm sorry, palm stone, and my blue dolphin. So I have Mr. Dolphin out here, and he's made out of glass. So those are the three items, and they are all about the same size, palm size. So for some reason, I was guided to pick three of the same size, and I love the colors, the clear, the pink, and the blue. So that could also be messages or those colors could be important for some. Focusing on this, I'm going to be picking three cards for this pick a card. And there's one, I'm focusing on the crystal ball. Two more for the crystal ball, please, spirits. And see what comes. Okay, pink, rose quartz palm stone, so pink. Oh no, okay. I'm actually gonna have four. Four for the pink and then the blue dolphin. And there's two there. And now, I'm, right now I'm going to do the undercurrent. Wow, we got a lot of messages coming. So the undercurrent for everybody here is moving forward furiously. They're kind of funny. So we are moving, right? But the spirit is saying for everyone that's come, keep moving forward fearlessly. There may be some fears that are coming up for everyone. It's like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? And big moves, big moves can bring that up. It's like, oh, there could be uncertainties. I feel safe. I feel comfortable here. Should I really make this move? So I feel like a lot of you guys, this is um, not maybe not so much as a uh, forced move, but one that you have been thinking about or contemplating for a while. Maybe you're relocating to another state or you want to move somewhere that brings you more joy. Like you want to move, like for me, I want to move to the ocean, but it's not something that is, you know, I have to do this. So maybe this is just more like this is you're being guided spiritually to a certain location, but it's bringing up some fears. They want you to know to keep moving without that fear. And I feel like Archangel Michael's here. He's helping everyone move forward because when I see fear and I feel that energy, I feel his energy instantly come in to help. So he's helping clear and cut any cords from the past so you you are able to move forward. I'm going to read I'm going to read a little bit for everyone from this booklets if you don't like that part for fast forward or just leave the reading it doesn't you know it's totally up to you you are making big breakthroughs in your life by putting your divinely inspired ideas into action trust that you are guided each step of the way and i definitely feel like i said archangel michael is helping everyone um, with each step of the way those gut feelings dreams and strong impulses you've been getting aren't just examples of wishful thinking they represent the germination of new projects and situations that are vehicles for your divine life's mission don't ignore these gifts from heaven which come on the wings of rep rep repetitive strong thoughts and feelings the fairies ask you to honor your inner feelings by taking at least one step today in the direction of making your dreams and desires a reality Fearlessly take one step to dismantle any part of your life that is out of integrity. So when you are moving, you do have to dismantle, you know, literally. You have to get rid of things. Most likely, a lot of times, it's hard to take everything with you. You will space clear. You will literally dismantle your furniture. You know, you're dismantling your home. And if you're making a huge life change um, direction with your move, you know, you're going to be dismantling the past and everything you've built up to this point to feel, to have you feel safe. And then all of a sudden you get this urge or this gut feeling to be in another place and you start to question that, you start to fear. But they're saying, no, this is divine guidance, not to question or fear it, to keep moving forward and, um, you know, continue that dismantling. Um, 
fearlessly take one step to dismantle any part of your life that is out of integrity. So that would be the past. You know, it's out of integrity. Not so much that it was bad, but it's out of integrity with who you are becoming, right? It's no longer in alignment with who you, where you're vibrating now and where you're headed. Fearlessly do that. Take another step towards realizing your heart's desires. Even a tiny step that is remotely related to improving your life will make you feel like you're soaring with the fairy realm. Take, keep taking one step a day and soon your dreams will be a reality. I move fear, forward fearlessly, trusting that each step is perfectly guided. So definitely spot on um, message for us in regards to moving. So keep going because I feel like because this came up in this placement, everyone may be feeling a little bit, oh, I'm not sure. This is bringing up fears, which it's bringing up fears, this move you're making to purge that as well as the things that you're purging physically to, to make the move, right? So allow that to be processed. So we're going to see, one, two, three, what the crystal ball people, we have peace of mind. We have raising your standards. And we have, oh, happily ever after. So I'm going to show them to you and then I'm going to put them down in the order that they came out. Peace of mind, raising your standards, happily ever after. So I'm going to just let the message come and it can take a moment. So you may want to fast forward again. I will... Okay, for this group, I feel like the move will go smoothly in the end. Between here and the end, from whatever point you're at now in the move, there's going to be a need. It says raise your standards. So you want to find the best help. You want to find the best support in regards to moving, meaning, you know, family, friends to help you pack. Um, movers. I feel like moving companies is going to be a key like you're really going to benefit from finding when I see raise your standards I feel like you're really going to benefit from finding you know the best mover so spending some time researching a moving company um, or those that are going to help you that's what I'm getting is important here for this this group in the move now as for the actual move I feel like the location that you're going to be at is really going to bring you um peace of mind. I feel like the, maybe where you're moving from has been a little bit hectic. There may have been neighbors or people in that area that you didn't feel like you could, maybe it was like a, a bad neighborhood, like, you know what I mean? Like, and you felt nervous there. There was something about where you're moving from that left you feel a little bit uneasy. You were feeling like maybe you were not as safe as you could be. You wanted to, um, be in a better location. And I do feel you're going to accomplish that. You're going to be able to move to that ideal place. Sort of with the, This is like a fairy tale kind of energy. So there is a happily ever after for you in this move. You will be able to do that. Um, or you may have found that place. You will find that place. And the only message is to find the best help in moving. Make sure you find a reputable moving company with the raise your standards make sure that they're up to standards they have their licensing whoever's driving the truck has their license make sure like you know what i'm saying like all the little details are, are going to be important for this group and their move okay but you, the move will go smoothly and um you will be happy where where it is that you move for the pink palm stone um granite or granite oh my gosh i got granite on the brain um <laughs> Rose Quartz, oh my God. Feeling safe is one. Family harmony, financial flow, and environmental awareness. So that was a lot. Again, a sense of being safe. I feel like this person, this group may have be moving to a gated community. Feeling safe, environmental awareness. This is a place that has gates and security cameras is what I'm getting. Um, that may have been a, re a, re a prerequisite of this move or maybe why you're moving there. There is guards. There is a gate. Not that you're moving to prison, but you know what I mean? It's a community that is gated that has one of those um, 
like a toll booth at the beginning where a person is actually standing or is someone that you can buzz and the voice comes back. They may be able to buzz you in your your house, your home, your apartment, and then you, you talk back or there's a person there that they can buzz to get in the gate if they don't have the key or something or the code to get in. I feel like this is very, you see like she's touching this light. This is like somewhere where there's a touch button, a touch pad to get in. Somewhere that is being watched with security cameras and being aware of your environment here is very key and part of why you are going. Perhaps your parents or your mother or somebody that watches over you was very worried and concerned and said you, you, to make this move, you really need to be in a safe place. So this may be a group that is leaving home. Family harmony, financial flow. This may be your first time outside of living at home leaving your mother, leaving your parents, leaving your siblings. And they're like, hey, in you know today's world, I want you to be super safe. They may have even added to your finances to make this move because you weren't able to, um, for some of you, I'm not saying everyone, you may have needed more money to stay in a place that had that security system in place. And they're like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pop in some money so you are able to be safe and we can make sure that you have that um, protection where you're moving. I feel safety is truly key to this group. And um, I feel this group may have been a group where you're just leaving your family or you have gone off to college and you're leaving college and getting your first place. This is just like a stepping stone from away from your family. I feel this group um, strongly that is you have still have a connection to your family or your home place and this is your first or second move from there like being first being college which is a move but it isn't completely away from home and then now this is your other you're taking more things from your family home that make you feel safe and secure that make you feel like you're at home from your from your family's house and moving okay um so yeah, that is the biggest message for this group. I feel like the move itself will be okay. I don't see anything wrong with the move itself. Um, because of the financial flow, I feel like it's going to flow very well. But that was the big message here, that this is a group that is um, going to have that level of safety, even if it takes financial assistance from family to do it. You're going to be in a safe environment. And it's not just something that they... Um, claim to have in place it is definitely a place that you can feel safe and secure and your family can be comfortable knowing this may even be people that are going a long distance away from their family and their family is worried I feel family being very worried about this move and how because of this one I feel like this person is moving they may be moving to a different country or they may be moving to a different state and it's like I, I have to I almost feel like now this person this family may have to Skype to see you. They're not going to be able to see you in person. They feel very, um, somebody's feeling very disconnected or far away from you when you move. Okay. So that is the message for that group. But I feel the move itself will go, okay, it's just there's worry from family and there's a need or that you're going to be in a secure place and you will be and that family will miss you and you may have to Skype to see your family from this position. If you pick the dolphin, what how your move is going to be, we have self-reliance, new location, which comes up beautifully for a move, and creative expression. So self-reliance, new location, creative expression. I'm just going to kind of put it down in the order it came in. So I feel like this move for this group of people is going to be a lot on yourself. So not to say you're moving alone. You may be moving alone. This group may be moving alone. Or you may be not having a lot of support. You're doing a lot of this move on your own. So you're implementing the move. You know, you're you're planning the move. You're the one that's packing the boxes. You're the one that's cleaning up afterward. You're the one that's, you know, um, getting the mover, you know, and paying the mover and, you know, um, calling them to reserve the mover. You know, like you're the one that's got the whole thing on you. So this group is maybe a lot on that energy, but this is going to be a location that allows you to, you see the butterflies in this card and you see the butterflies here and there's an expression. This move is going to allow you to come more in, more into yourself, um, meaning that there is something in this move that is going to trigger or bring out a creative within you. 
So, and it's going to transform your energy and perhaps even your, you know, your body. So you may be going like, like I'm going to just give myself, for instance, I'm in a location that is cold. It's wintery. It's hard to be outside. It's hard, hard to be very active outdoors. And I want to move or I am moving. I'm in the process of moving, making a couple pit stop move towards the, you know, towards being there. So, but when I'm in that location, I'm able to be more active and my energy is different. And so I definitely feel that very watery, artistic, um, emotionally artistic fuel type of energy here in, in regards to that. And it's going to bring about, it's going to bring that out. So whether you are an actual artist or you like, you, you're, you're somebody that can write books or you, you know, you're going to start a podcast or a website or a, a, your own business there. There's something within this move that is going to foster that. It's going to cultivate and nurture that part of you. Whether you already know about that part in yourself, for some of you guys, you don't know about that part in yourself. And I feel a big energy of being self-employed in this new location, working on this creative expression. And so it's not just a new location, it's like a new you. Um, or, re or a reconnection with the old you, but in a new form. <laughs> you know, maybe there was something that you used to do and you no longer do it because part of your life you had to put that aside. You're going to be refreshing that if it's something that you're getting reacquainted with within yourself. It's going to be a refreshment of that and an ability to carry that through to its fruition, they're saying. So as for the move, a lot of the moves on you, um... I feel you're either doing it solo or a lot of it is on your shoulders. A lot of it is up to you. You know, the move is relied on you solely to get it done. Um, you're the one that's making the calls. You're the one that's securing the, the, the location in the future, you know, where you're headed. You know, you've made all the plans on that end. You're making all the plans on this end. You're the one that's doing all the talking and the phone calls. This is a lot on you. Even if you have a partner or there's someone around you, you either don't want their help or they're not able to help you for some reason. Maybe they're busy with work or they're not well enough to or something like that. You're really the one in the front row doing the work. So, but it's going to cultivate you, you know, more of who you are. And, you know, you're something that you're creating, bringing about something with business perhaps as well. So I hope that everyone has enjoyed this Um I hope everyone has enjoyed this reading. Kind of felt like the first group, I may have missed a, something here, but I'm not quite catching it. I'll probably catch it after. If I do see anything more for the first group, I'm gonna put a little asterisk at the bottom because I feel like there's something here that I'm not getting. But um, yeah, so angel blessings to everyone and good luck with your move. They all look beautiful. Comment below if you'd like and yeah. Angel blessings, oceans of love.